Jeffrey is happy exactly how he is. <laughs> I'm fine. Video games aren't even that bad for you. He doesn't realize just how much time he's wasting on the modern addictions. He says that video games aren't that bad for you, that he only plays for one hour a day, but that's not true. Every video gamer who says that he only plays for one hour a day is a big, fat, stinky liar. Oh, they piss me off, bro. But after a full day of work, Hansa, I work for seven. Shut the f up. I work all day. Oh, you cracker. They piss me off, mate, because I used to use that exact same excuse as well. It's just f***ing cringe. You're obviously not playing for a an hour bro by the time you've like gotten into a fucking like league of legends game you literally have less time to finish the game you're just lying to yourself and do you know what the reason why so many fucking video gamers say this bullshit of like oh but i only play for one hour a day after i do all of my good chores and shit is because they know that they're fucking coping they know that they're talking about a bad habit here and that's why they have to tell you because if they truly thought it wasn't bad for you they wouldn't have to like fucking tell you like oh i only play for one hour shut the fuck up bro Oh yeah, Jeffrey. <laughs> this went on a side rant. <laughs> I can remember the exact moment that my life changed. In May 2020, I gave up all of my addictions. I used to smoke weed all day, every day. And that is not an exaggeration. I used to wake up, grab the f***ing crack pipe, put weed into it, blaze that shit up, and continue smoking throughout the entire day. I would get high before work, I'd get high after work, I'd get high before going to sleep, I'd get high after waking up from sleep. I was playing a fair amount of video games, I'd just spend a lot of f***ing time on YouTube and just watching random shows on Netflix, on TV. I'd scroll on social media, on Reddit especially, I'd spend like three hours a day on Reddit. My entire day revolved around consuming and it felt uncontrollable. In my mind I would get the thoughts that I wanted to stop, that I didn't want to do this bullshit anymore, that I didn't want to continue smoking weed, I couldn't even afford it. I was done with spending three hours a day on Reddit. It. I felt like shit after fapping, but day in and day out, I kept on doing the same things. If you can relate to what I'm saying, I hope this video can help you. Adonis. Adonis lives like an old school man, like a caveman. He drastically limits his technology use. Instead, Adonis prefers to be out in nature, amongst animals, seeing the sunrise and the sunset, spending time with his loved ones. It isn't Adonis's preference to be sat hunkered down with poor posture, looking at a screen all day. He knows that that causes sickness. And so Adonis looks around so confused at the majority of people who spend all their time like that. Gather around boys, we've got a emotional vid. The topic of this video is simple enough to say, okay, you know, stop spending time on YouTube and Reddit and social media. But I think it goes so much deeper than that because these things are totally ingrained in our lives and we don't even realize how detrimental it is. We are in the most safest, the best time to have ever existed. And yet the majority of us are unhappy, depressed and anxious. And I think it's almost totally down to the fact that our lives are just based on this virtual reality that we spend so many hours looking at screens. When was the last time that you touched grass. I know that that sounds like a silly question, but just answer it truthfully. When was the last time that you touched grass? When was the last time that you went on a walk and you picked like some random leaf and you just kind of, instead of mindlessly doing the shit, you actually looked at the leaf and you're like, oh, like, this, is, this is a nice leaf. When was the last time that like, you actually stepped on a fucking crunchy leaf on the floor? I'm telling you right now that all of that stuff, all that natural behavior that we used to do as a child, like, you know, stepping inside of a puddle, that exactly correlates to how happy you are. And apart from accidentally and getting pissed off, the last time you jumped in a puddle was probably 10 years ago. I know that this sounds like bro science, but I'm telling you that this is the truth. Your happiness correlates with how much you jump into puddles. And no one jumps into puddles anymore. Because why would we? It's weird. Just in case someone records us. And so we'll spend all of our f***ing time just looking at the screen like you are right now. You think you're relating to me and you think that, oh yeah, he's onto something. Like, hey, people are so, so f***ed up. But I'm talking to you. You're still watching me through a f***ing screen. When I made this YouTube channel, the original purpose that I had, which eventually I actually went on to like somewhat quit this YouTube. No one actually knows this apart from one person. I actually kind of quit this YouTube channel after it like popped off and everything. Because the one purpose I had with this channel was to spread specifically the knowledge of dopamine detoxing of stopping those bad habits, of drastically reducing how long we spend on our screens. And there was a moment where I felt like I kind of ticked it off. I told you everything I knew about reducing your content consumption. And so by the time we hit like 30,000 subscribers and you know, it was all popping off. I literally called the video editor Sam and told them like, yeah, I'm like, bro, I'm done. I, not even in a sad way. I literally feel like I've, I've fulfilled the purpose. Like that's as much as I can say. Now I can continue making videos so that, you know, it's a business and everyone's going to be proud of me because Hamza's making so much money and he's so famous and stuff. And he's, you know, he's helping the family. But it's like, I'm contributing to the problem. I have to take a fucking hit to like my moral system, my like soul, by sometimes making these videos and thinking like I'm literally contributing to some random kid's internet addiction. Hopefully there's like a net gain that the videos I make are hopefully a positive influence. And sometimes, you know, people comment and they say like, oh yeah, Hamza, you've really helped me and stuff. And so that kind of like reminds me that, yeah, maybe I am doing good work here, but the issue still stands. We are totally surrounded with technology and it isn't really that good for us. The issue is that you are just one person, one young man. And quite frankly, you're not that great. You're not that 
smart. You're not that disciplined. You know, you're working on it. Fair enough. Fantastic. But you're not at the ultimate point, right? You're not at the, you know, the 10 out of 10 discipline, right? You are alone against an army, against hundreds of thousands of scientists and data analysts and software developers. Smart mother it's you versus them. They have found the exact, like the exact, every single minute detail to keep you hooked because that's how they make money. That's just technology. That's just social media. But even with the food that we consume, you're again, you're against hundreds of thousands of nutritionists, like these f***ing evil people who are modifying food for it to be so addictive that you're literally killing yourself whilst eating it. You're just one young man against maybe a million scientists. The fact that you're making any progress right now is remarkable when you really think of it like this. I want you to like sit up straight, put your f***ing shoulders back, your chest out high and think like, f*** those scientists, bro. Those f***ing nerds. Destroy them, bro. They are your competition. Like they are the enemy. The fact that you're making any progress right now is insane. It's unimaginable. You aren't supposed to be able to make the progress that we are making. To take a step back from the modern addictions to improve your diet. It's not supposed to be possible. It is literally not supposed to be possible to be on self-improvement with what we are against. So again, if you've made any progress, you should be so f***ing proud and grateful for yourself. It started with a sense of anger and hatred for me. And I think that's really important because I've seen the personality differences of the people who try to take control of their lives. And there's usually two. There's like the depressed, quite feeble, sad guy who's like, oh, but I'm, I'm spending too long on YouTube. Then there's the guy who's aggressive about it. F YouTube, f the drugs that I'm taking and the junk food. This is the guy who makes progress. You need like a bit of aggression to take back control of your life. You can't do this passively. You can't be like one of those people who like, oh, like oh, my goal is to only watch one hour of YouTube a day. You have to hate that shit. For me personally, I couldn't do the wishy-washy modern day bullshit of like, you know, trying to reduce it. I had to eliminate this shit. I tell this story all the time and I really hope you can take how significant it is for me. I had to literally move cities. I had to break up with my girlfriend. I had to move back into my fucking parents' house so that I didn't do these bad habits because that was literally like the new chapter of my life. Like I literally for almost an entire year I visualized exactly how it would go that I would move back and I literally saw myself like running around my town here and like use like doing outdoor workouts, meditating, journaling and just staying away from the screen. You can do all the small level tactics that you want. Every other YouTuber is going to tell you the same advice. Get one of the YouTube blockers and you can install the Google Chrome ad. Like shut the f Oh, I'm telling you right now that every person who's got one of those YouTube blockers has failed their goal. They still go on to YouTube. That's the dumbass who goes to the party and says like, oh, no, thanks. I'm trying to quit drinking. You're a coward. You're a pussy. You're not going to make progress. You're not trying to quit drinking. You don't drink. Update your self image. You are not trying to reduce YouTube. You're not trying to stop smoking or anything. You don't smoke. You don't watch YouTube anymore. Whatever your goal is, ingrain it into your self image right now. There is no more trying. There's not, oh, you know, this year, my new year's, like we make fun of people who make new year's resolutions yet most of us on self-improvement are the exact same as them that fat 42 year old karen who wants to like you know this is the year that she's going to get into shape we make fun of her we always like heartlessly make fun of those people because we say oh you know they're going to go to the gym for three days they're going to quit it's the exact same for us young dumbasses who think we're so great because you're going about it in the coward way we are not trying to do like a big change you're not trying to have like a level of accountability to tell everyone like yeah i don't drink because you fear that you will fail i don't play video games anymore when i moved back home i made videos on youtube where i said that so many times to the point that every single time I got like a bit of a feeling to play, I literally got like a sense of guilt. And I was like, no, 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 because like my 50 subscribers, my 200 subscribers will find out. And I wouldn't be able to like truthfully tell them that I have not played one second of video games for like one and a half years, not one second. And I'm not like, you know, some special guy who like was never really into video games. I was a video gamer. I had more than 10,000 hours in like the video games that I used to play, RuneScape, Minecraft, League of Legends. I have not played one second in a long time. The same with movies. I have not watched one second of a movie. With these modern addictions, you can't do this wishy-washy bullshit of just trying to like you know just trying to reduce it it's like the equivalent of that dumbass who sounds like oh i don't want to get too big shut the f up i just want to get a little bit toned you know my shoulders told shut up no you're not no, you're not. You're literally not going to get that goal then because you're too much of a fucking coward to set a good goal. I just want to get a bit of No, you don't. Shut the fuck up. If you set your goal to be so fucking just trash, just so unrewarding, I just want to get toned shoulders or like, oh, I just want to reduce my, my weed intake. So shut the fuck up. You quit weed. You quit sugar. Dumbass. <laughs> How do you take back control of your life? I remember for the first couple of weeks, I technically would have failed by everyone else's standards in the sense that I would spend too much time on YouTube. So I said, you know, I was going to be on a dopamine detox. I wasn't going to do the bad habit but I'd still spend like an hour a night on YouTube. And I'm so, so glad that I had this positive mindset thinking that, yeah, like this is how I'm going to start. But a month from now, it would be less than an hour a day. And five months from then, it might be just a couple hours per week. And a couple of months more from then, it might be like two hours a week. You have to have like that, that level of positive mindset to think. It's kind of like progressive.
progressive overload. Set the big goal, the big intention, update your self-image right now, but also understand that you won't be able to lift that heaviest weight. You won't be able to completely eliminate all your addictions. Your intention should be, but you probably won't. After a certain amount of time, you'll find yourself lighting up the f***ing crack pipe again. You'll find yourself browsing the hub again. That's okay. If you consider that as failure and you said, oh, but I failed my goal now, then you're a little that's kind of like going to the gym, trying to get more stronger. And then there's one time when you fail the rep, you fail the set and you have to like, you know, drag the barbell off you. Imagine if a guy did that, he failed bench press and he was like, oh, like uh, I failed the set. So um, guess I have to quit weightlifting now. That's what so many guys do on NoFap. That's what so many guys do when they set some kind of goal. They do some bullshit little NoFap challenge, 90 day challenge or some bullshit that doesn't even work. And then once they do fail, and you know, they have a little setback, they just quit because they weren't able to complete the original goal that they set them. This is not a fucking challenge. This is not something you do for like 90 days. Like this is for life. This is your new identity. This is your new lifestyle. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it.